Open Crickstar's app and then tap on Sign Up Now to create your profile. Now type in your first and last name. Next, type in your email. And finally, type in a password that you can remember. Now tap on create an account. Now update your profile here. Choose your role. Let's choose batting all-rounder for example in batting style and your bowling style. Choose your state or province. I'm going to type in and see if I can find it. It's already there. And I'm going to choose the city. There you go. It's right there. Tap continue. Your profile is now ready. Anytime you want to go back to your profile, tap here. Now, if you want to upload a profile picture, you need to tap on edit profile and tap here. You need to browse for a picture in your gallery. At the moment, I don't have any picture in my gallery. But once you've up uploaded your picture, make sure to tap on update profile. There you go. Your profile is now ready. Now let's create a team. At the bottom, tap here. As you can see, this is my new profile and currently I don't have any team. To create a team, tap on the plus icon right here. You can choose a logo for your team from your own gallery or from Crickstar's gallery. Just choose a logo that you like. I'm going to choose this logo as I'm going to name my team as Riyadh Dragons. The country below is already selected by default, even the city. Let's type in a short name for our team. This is very important because this short name will be displayed on the score ticker overlay. That score ticker overlay we will be using for live streaming. The examples are shown below. For example, if your team is Royal Hitters, use RH. So in this case, my team is Riyadh Dragons. I'm going to use RD. This is the theme for the theme color for your team. You can change it if you want. I'm going to keep it to the same. And let's tap create team. So the team is right here at the moment, but we don't have any players. So tap on it. In the second tab, players, tap on this tab right here. You can see there are no players at the moment. To create players, tap on the plus icon. As you're doing it for the first time, the app might show you some guideline. Now you have the option to add your player using email of your player or the phone number. Uh, it's up to you. I'm going to use email for the moment. So let's type in the first name of your player. You can also upload a picture of your player from here. You tap and you just browse the picture in your gallery. As I told you, I don't have any pictures at the moment. I'm going to type in the first and last name of my player. And for demonstration purposes, I'm going to just type in a random email. But you, of course, should have email addresses of your players. Or you can use random addresses. Choose the role, bowling style, 
and batting style. If this player is the captain, make sure you check this box. For now, let's just, you know, uh, uncheck the box because this player is not the captain of the team. Now, we've already added the player. Let's find a player who's already on Crick Stars. So if you type in an email address and that player is already on the app, you'll find him. As you can see, the player is right there in the app and you can add him. So if the player already has a profile on Crickstars, you can use email or phone number to find him. So now let's try to go back and see how many players we've added so far. You can see two players, Omar and Aman. So repeat the same steps to add more players. Simply tap on this plus icon and add as many players as you, as you want. So this team is ready. Anytime you want to share this team with the opponent, somebody who wants to play a game against you, you can simply share the QR code with them. They can scan the QR code and they can, you know, organize a match with you using Crickstar's app. You can also send invite link to your players. They can tap on the link and add themselves in your team. To set up our first match, we must tap on the tennis ball icon at the bottom. Then we have to tap on the plus icon on the right side. We have to choose Team 1 and Team 2. Let's tap on Team 1. For this match, I'm going to choose Gladiators. And for Team 2, I am going to choose Dragons. Now, let's select the players for this match. For demonstration purposes, I am going to choose only 5 players. Tap Select Players. Select the captain of the team. And here, if you want to edit the players list, tap on Edit Lineup. Let's do the same for Dragons. Tap here and then select 5 players. Tap Select Players. And again, let's choose the captain of Dragons. Anytime you want to edit the lineup, you can edit the players. Now we have the option to either schedule the match or tap next to continue. City is already selected. Select your ground. It is limited overs game, so I'm going to select limited overs. Number of overs for this game, let's just uh, put it, let's just put it six and limit per baller, let's keep it to two. Ball type, let's choose tennis ball. And let's tap next. Leave all the settings here as default. Tap next. Now, make sure you've done the toss. So in this case, let's say gladiators, they won the toss and they have selected the bat first. Finally, tap create match. Your match is now ready.